I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. What would the world be like without black inventors? Even in the culinary field, blacks have made a significant contribution. George Speck was born to parents Abraham Speck and Diane Tull on July 15, 1824. He grew up in Saratoga County in upstate New York. He was a black Native American from the Regis Mohawk tribe. Speck developed his culinary skills at Carrie Moon's Lake House on Saratoga Lake. His specialties included wild game, especially venison and duck, and he often experimented in the kitchen. Legend has it that the potato chip was born out of a disagreement between a little known cook and one of the wealthiest people in American history at the time. The incident was alleged to have taken place on August 24th in 1853. Crum, who was working at a resort in Saratoga Springs, New York at the time, during his shift, a disgruntled customer kept sending back an order of french fries complaining that they were too thick. Frustrated, Crump prepared a new batch using potato chips that were sliced paper thin and fried to a crisp. Surprisingly, the customer loved it. And the rest is culinary history. The introduction of the potato chip, originally called the Saratoga chip. Not too long after that, the Moon's Lake House became well known for their special Saratoga chip. People came from miles around just to get a taste of the Saratoga chip. Speck developed his culinary skills at Carrie Moon's Lake House in Saratoga Lake, noted as an expensive restaurant at a time when wealthy families from Manhattan and other areas were building summer camps in the area. Speck and his sister, Wicks, also cooked at the San Suchi in Boston Spa alongside another St. Regis Mohawk Indian, known for his skills as a guide and cook, Pete Francis. One of the regular customers at Moon's was Comrade Cornelius Vanderbilt, who although he savored the food, could never be seen to remember Speck's name. On one occasion, he called a waiter over to ask Crumb, how long before we shall eat? Rather than take the offense, Speck decided to embrace the nickname, figuring that a crumb is bigger than a speck. By 1860, Speck had opened his own restaurant called Crumbs on Story Hill in nearby Malta, New York. His cuisine was in high demand among Saratoga Springs tourists and elites. His prices were those of the fashionable New York restaurants, but his food and service were worth it. Everything possible was raised on his small farm, and that too got his personal attention whenever he could arrange it. One contemporaneous source recalls that in his restaurant, Speck was unquestionably the man in charge. They were very strict, and he never departed from them. In the slang of the racehorse, he played no favorites. Guests were obliged to wait their turn, the millionaire as well as the wage earner. Mr. Vanderbilt once was obliged to wait an hour and a half for a meal, with none but rich pleasure seekers as his guests. Speck kept his tables clean, laden with the best of everything. So, the next time you have a bag of potato chips, be sure to thank its creator, George Crumb. And although the name that he became known by George Crumb, his actual name is George Speck. And we give him the utmost respect. The man who created the potato chip, a delicious snack 
that is enjoyed by billions the world over. Thank you, Mr. Speck, for your great innovation to the potato, the potato chip. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, comment on it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thou art rich.